it's it's the perfect game. It's when you don't miss a shot. It's when you get so many boards and assists and basically do everything right that can be done. That's what I want. I'm never going to get it, but I want to get as close to that as, as possible. I think I've improved leaps and bounds since I've been here. Um, being able to train every single day with a group of guys who want to train as much as I do, um, it's only going to make me better. So ever since I, I moved to wheelchair basketball back in 2013, I've always wanted to make an Australian team. So a medal really wasn't uh, on the cards for me, I didn't think. Um, I just wanted to make that, that top 12. Uh, to win a medal at a World Championships is amazing, um, no matter what colour. So when you're playing against the calibre of those guys, it's, it's just going to lift your game. It's made me come back and absolutely just want to get back to work straight away and get quicker, stronger, uh, shoot better. So um, applying that to a collegiate standpoint, I'm going to see if I can bring that to the University of Alabama team and um, get everyone else as fired up as I am. This team, and I've said this before, this, this isn't a team, this is a family. I know the strengths and weaknesses of every single member of this team, both personal life, uh, basketball, uh, education so I know that if something something is not right we'll each have our backs and uh, if something is right we'll celebrate as much as with each other as we can and having this new facility is uh, somewhere where we can call our own coming whenever we want uh, day or night and being able to train independently away from everyone else is only going to help us what well, it already has helped us <laughs> I think even at Worlds, um, I said I went to the University of Alabama and they told me, oh, they built you a new facility. I'm like, yeah, yeah it's probably the best, one of the best I've ever seen.